What's up, guys? Frizzy here, and uh, this one is a shout out to the duel to the duels community. Uh, first off, I want to start off by apologizing to each and every one of you guys for not getting a video on the channel in a while. But this one, I actually want to save for you guys because I know a lot of you guys play Magic, not only in the video game, but you play in real life too. And I need your guys' help. See, I came up with this hilarious deck here. A standard deck. And uh, it's pretty much Rug, Turbo, Burn, Mill, Door, Insanity. And oh my god, this is hilarious. This deck is just unbelievable. Um, it's, oh my god. <laughs> I'm like having a hard time. I'm so giddy because this deck is hilarious. Um, I was just thinking about decks to make. Um, I already got a green, black, white. Uh, lot live troll deck, which is kind of like the white's only for flashback on on bureau rights for whatever I discard, and that's like my series deck. But this deck, this deck is unbelievable. Okay, so the main creature here is this guy, Axbane Guardian. Axbane Guardian is a defender. He comes from the Return to Ravnica block, which is the most recent block of Magic. For three mana, two and a forest, a defender, and if you tap him sideways, he adds X mana in any combination of colors to your mana pool, where X is the number of creatures with defender you control. And so basically, the more defenders you have, the more mana you're going to get. And this guy gets doubly nuts when you have two of them out on the battlefield. So, we get back to here, close this up. So obviously I want to go Defender Heavy, and I have Haunted Guardians, Ludovic's tech sub, uh, Test Subject, uh, Gate Creeper Vine, Hover Barrier, and Fog Bank. Uh, Haunted Guardian is just a 2-1 First Striker. Fog Bank, you guys know what that does. Hover Barrier is a 3-mana uh, 06 Flying Defender. And Gate Creeper, oh, well, I'll show you right here. Ludovic's Test Subject uh, is from the Innistrad block. It's a rare it has a defender, and if for one in the blue, if you put a hatchling counter on Ludovic's test subject, and if there's five or more counters on it, you can transform it, and it'll turn into a 13-13 trample. So this is one of the ways that I could spend my mana on. I could create a 13-13 trample, hopefully on just one turn. So that way he just flips on my next turn. And then Gatecreeper Vine is a defender also from Return to Ravnica. Obviously, I'm only going to be playing Defenders in this deck. Uh, when I play him, I search for a basic land card or a gate card. I mean, this guy is pretty standard here. You want to go Gatecube Revine into Axebane Guardian. So there's the creature base. Here are the win conditions besides Ludovic's test subject. Door to Nothingness, Devil's Play, and Increasing Confusion. And I'll just bring back Axebane Guardian just so I can make a point. Door Nothingness. Door Nothingness enters the battlefield tap. If you add two white, two blue, two black, two red, and two green, and tap it, sacrifice Door Nothingness, target player loses the game. And it's a five mana artifact. Uh, also, Devil's Play. Devil's Play deals X damage to target creature or player. If you flash it back uh, for three red and X, you do the same thing. Increasing Confusion, target player puts the top X cards of his or her library into his or her graveyard. If Increasing Confusion was cast from a graveyard, that player puts twice that many cards into his or her graveyard instead. The nutty thing, excuse me, the nuttiest thing about Axbane Guardian is the fact that you can add X mana in any combination of colors to your mana pool. You can have, like, one Axbane Guardian three other defenders and however many land that you need I think probably six you could play this and sack it on your next turn I don't know if I did the math right but probably only need I mean if you have two Axbane Guardians you win the game when you get Thor Nothingness if you have like two Axbane Guardians and another defender Devil's Play you could do crazy amount of damage with Axbane Guardian Increasing Infusion you can double you can do this for 14 Next turn, do it for 28. It is unbelievable how much mana you could generate with nothing but defenders 
and Axe being guarded. So, with that said, what I need help from you guys is, you know, obviously I have the win condition here. What I want to know is what do you guys think I should put in in terms of removal, maybe? Or should I run dissipates, negate, and fog? Like, is there anything that you guys feel like there should be an input on? Let me know in the comments what you guys think. And, uh, yeah, this deck is awesome. And I can't wait to make it and play it. And really, guys, I really want your input. So please let me know in the comments what you guys think. I'm Frizzy. You guys have a nice day. Peace out.